I wanted to do a video today just to show you what I'm doing, but also to get some feedback. So we are um, product reviewing, product testing, Cornucopia, which is a dog and cat food um, that was developed by a vet um, in New York. His name is Dr. Broderick. And it's been a long time since I've had to use cat food can covers um, because when I had a single cat, Rags, um, if I got a 5.5 ounce can, um, they he, he wouldn't finish the whole can, so, you know, you'd refrigerate it or whatever. And these cat food covers are just awesome. So, ironically, um, I just looked at... I haven't used them for years, but I kept them just in case... I just washed this one off, so... Um, but you can see that they're made by Pet Buddies. And uh, I just wanted to cover them because these cat food cover are awesome. These ears help it be lifted off so much better. And Pet Buddies is the company that just sent us that um, AstroTurf litter mat. So um, it's just ironic that I was like, oh, we already have um, products from them. Okay. So then also, if you guys have been following Floppy Cats for a while, then you know that um, I covered these Moda Pet Bowls recently too. Moda Pet um, was acquired by Pet Buddies uh, just recently, and they've come out with a, another color um, in addition to these. There's an orange one, it's tangerine, and I think they actually have like a light blue one and stuff like that. But when I am reviewing products and trying to uh, figure out if the cats like them, these bowls are so ideal for that because of the different color coding. So as you can see, I'm going to put the harvest dinner in the yellow. I'm going to put the chicken with egg dinner in the blue and the perfect dinner in the pink. Um, obviously, I just try to match the color on the can to the color of the bowl. And that's just one of the organizational tips that I thought I'd share. Trig doesn't really like to be on the counter. I'm running the water so that it will get hot. Um, I, that's kind of crucially important with um, food that's been refrigerated to get it to mouse body temperature. Uh, the it, food is more um, flavorful or aroma or aromatic. Is that the is that how you pronounce it for kitties when it's warm? Um, I don't own a microwave. I had a thyroid disease for a number of years and um, went to a number of holistic doctors who basically told me about how a microwave takes out nutrition and food um, by zapping it and whatnot. So I just decided, well, don't don't walk on the oven, please. Don't. I know the stove top. Oh, just don't. Just don't. I just decided if I didn't have the microwave, I wasn't, I wouldn't use it. So um, the only thing that kind of stinks is when you want to do microwave popcorn, you can't. <laughs> but other than that, I've learned to really become patient for warm food. Um, okay. So I just put a little bit in each can. They, they've been Charlie has been better about eating this food than Trig, um, but Trig is my cat that will eat anything so that doesn't alarm me um, in time he will eat it without a problem something I just thought of too since this can wasn't open before I started this whole process um, they might go for this one first just because my cats for some reason always are attracted to an unopened can of food um, fresh out rather than a cold one as I explained um, again just for like the smell of it. I'm going to include links to where you can buy Cornucopia if you want to try it, links to where you can buy these um, cat lid covers, and then links to where you can buy Moda Pet Bowls online. Uh, the only problem with these guys is if you have a cat with zits like I do, or that gets zits badly, like Trig, you just want to watch how often you use it. 
I probably use these like once a week with Trig, um, and especially in a situation like this so that I can really, I can leave these down, come back later, and if this bowl's empty, then I know that chicken with egg dinner was the hit in that scenario. Um, and if I, if I gave Trig food in these every day, he, I would have to probably take him in to have his zits, um, extracted or whatever, because it, he just gets them like crazy. So he can't be exposed to plastic food bowls all that often. Charlie all day long, never has a problem. So we will see which one's a hit. This is a normal Charlie reaction. He usually never eats in front of me, always eats, um, when I'm, I've left the room. That's another reason why these are awesome because if you've got a weirdo like Charlie that won't eat in front of you, he'll eat treats in front of me, but he won't eat this food in front of me because he prefers to have treats, so he thinks if I'm around, I'll give him treats, um, or that's how I interpret it. But that way I can leave these down, not worry about um, catching them in the act to make sure that he's eating the right flavor. Tell me what you do when you're testing new food or trying to figure out things. What, what are some of your methods? I like learning from you guys just as much. So please include that in a comment. Or if you have made a video of what you do, include that in a comment and I'd be happy to watch it. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time. And here are the final tallies. Perfect dinner. Uh, looks like it's number one. Actually, Charlie went to this one first, which is the uh, chicken and eggs, and then Triggy did this one. I just happened to see that that happen. I'm not sure who did this one. This might be a combination of both, but um, that's pretty good odds, given that they were given three kinds of food at once, and these two, they were more interesting, or I mean, had been given a lot more recently than this one. They've had this one before, but I hadn't given it to them for a few days, whereas these get these two were given more recently, so that's typically what they do. I rotate flavors and brands um, all the time just to make sure that um, they are used to the variety of food, because my rags, you know, he had cancer, so getting him to eat was always a challenge. Um, so I want to get these guys exposed to everything in case they're knock on wood in case we ever have a problem uh, We don't have to deal with the shenanigans. I had to deal with with rags